We're at a main floor remodel with Lucas Herrick of Modern Touches. And Lucas, this went through a complete transformation. Tell us about what went down during this remodel. Well, um, we originally started off with wanting to do a new kitchen. Um, this kitchen had white cabinetry, white appliances, uh, laminate flooring. And uh, about halfway through the process, we just decided that uh, we needed to do more. So um, once you see around, you'll see that we've done multiple different things from built-ins to hardwood flooring throughout and some custom built-ins and a brand new fireplace. One of the challenges with a main floor remodel is you want it to blend seamlessly and you did that here. Right. Probably our biggest feat was trying to figure out what type of flooring to use. I mean, there's maple and there's oak. Wood is very timeless, as most flooring companies will tell you. So trying to figure out their style with what, what's on the market today, we came up with this flooring, which is a, um, a three-quarter inch hardwood Asian walnut um, with more of a cherry stain to it. I love how rich all of the wood is in this kitchen. Also with the island here, we tried to incorporate what they do on a daily basis, which is come home, eat dinner, entertain, watch TV. And the other big thing that we're trying to accomplish with in this remodel is storage. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice um, the new built-ins. Originally, they had um, you know very little storage here on the fireplace side. They've got larger, taller cabinets uh, with base cabinets for storage. Um, and then also on the back side of the island, we put uh, additional storage. Um, we gained so much linear footage in the kitchen itself and, and you'll see that from the before and afters. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's just so open and this is a great space to entertain in. Yes, um, entertaining is kind of the new route to go. Um, all the new homes uh, are, are more open um, so we're trying to incorporate you know moving walls around, opening up spaces. Um, the entry into the formal dining room had basically a door header there. Uh, we took that out to kind of open up the space and make the flow a little better. And that's how you make an older home look like a newer construction. Yes. yes. Uh, in designing the kitchen, the kitchen leads to, you know, an island. The kitchen flows into the living room and, and we've got to continue the flooring. Uh, some of the trim package uh, that they originally had in a house that's 30 years old is all white, it's all outdated. Um, so as you can see, we've updated doors, trim, casing, all the base and shoe. And then um, that led us into our fireplace, which um, we took an existing fireplace that was out of brick. And there are different ways you can, can remodel a fireplace without spending a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, this was kind of a budgetary uh, fireplace remodel. And uh, there was just a few simple things that we had to do to it to get the stone on it. And that was about it. So the homeowner originally had no lighting. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a couple of lights throughout the kitchen. Um, so we were able to put in numerous can lights, as you can see, um, to gain more lighting for the client. Yeah, and now it's really bright in here, yes. which you really need with all of this rich woodwork. Right, it really pulls out some of the colors. Another great uh, feature that we offer at Modern Touches is a full design and layout service. Uh, a lot of companies tend to charge for that service. We actually don't charge for that service. That's kind of my background. Um, so looking at this back wall, we had a built-in pantry here that seem to have a larger wall than normal. Um, so we're trying to figure out what we can and can't do. The, the original layout had a small countertop back here um, with not a lot of uh, space for really anything. So once we kind of get into this, we're able to figure out with our computer system what we can or can't do mm -hmm. um, and show some different options. Uh, it's really about the client and what they choose not about what we choose for them. So with that being said, this space completely opened up. Aside from this pantry here, mm -hmm. um, all their heating and cooling duct work was approximately in this area. Um, so we shifted all that over into this dead space corner and we're able to give them a large pantry, uh, a little bit larger than what they had originally had. So when you're doing a first floor remodel, you want to make sure that everything just blends seamlessly and that's what you did here with the staircase as well. Right. The original staircase seemed to not be, for some reason, as sturdy. So we, once we got into it, we figured out how someone initially installed it. Uh, it was uh, done improperly. So we were able to put it back together and it's sturdy as a rock. So 
um, and then also standing behind you, um, they had uh, a smaller door with uh, more opaque uh, side lights, and uh, they wanted more light, more glass. So we also incorporated this into the front entryway as well. And tell us about the living room that's right off the front entryway. Yes, uh, basically, uh, again, we had to put all new casing and base down to match the rest of the house. And then we also continued the Asian walnut throughout uh, the formal uh, sit-in room, uh, back around the corner to the dining room, and also down the hallway into their hall bath. So how are you able to give homeowners that kind of quality of product while staying within their budget? That's a great question, Kathy, because Modern Touches is not a very large company uh, and the reason why we established Modern Touches is to be able to come out and provide the quality that homeowners expect and deserve. Um, you know, just like you said, with the cabinetry, three quarter inch custom cabinetry, we've got dovetail joints on all of our cabinetry that we do, and then also soft clothes, just little options, hideable trash cans, and you know, a lot of homeowners expect a certain level of quality, but sometimes can't always afford that higher level of quality. Uh, at Modern Touches, we're not all about, you know, uh, doing things poorly so we can make bigger, better profits. It's about the client, it's about custom quality work. Our workmanship, um, I think, is top notch uh, here in Des Moines, and that's what we're about. Well, Lucas, thank you so much for showing us this remodel today. Viewers want to contact Modern Touches, how can they find you? Uh, they can reach me at my direct line, which is 515 745 6853. And you can also check us out on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash modern touches and also our website at moderntouches.com. Well, thanks again, Lucas Herrick of Modern Touches.